What if every Pokemon from Gen 1 had a regional variant? Well, let's see what that might look like with Pokemon Form Edition. Hey everybody, Brandon here with another region review where we review different regions around the Fakemon community. Today is not so much a region review, more a regional variant review, because Pokemon Form Edition has all the Kanto Pokemon as different forms, different regional variants. And it's super sick, I've seen a good portion of it, but I've not seen the whole thing. I've been following this account since its inception in February of this year. Um, I haven't seen every single Mon, and there's some Mons I might have forgotten about because it's been so long. They just wrapped up um, Gen 1. I'm not sure if they plan on doing Gen 2, but if they do, I'll let you know. Um, but definitely check out this account. It's really, really cool stuff, um, and I'm really excited to show you guys. So yeah, I just decided to sit down and review this region I love so much. Speaking of sitting down, let's talk about today's video sponsor. Ugh. Time to record another region review. Ugh, gosh, this... This chair is so uncomfortable. I just, I wish I had a chair that was comfortable, affordable, and it just had a sleek design. Well, Brandon, I might have just what you need. God? Yes, try this on for size. Oh, what's this? Ewin? Yes, my child, Ewin Racing has affordable ergonomic gaming chairs with striking designs to fit your every need. I have gifted you with the E-Win Champion Series CPG with new and improved E-Win Soft Weave Fabric and E-Win Cold Cure Foam. Wow! They also have sleek and cool RGB gaming desks to make you look like a pro gamer. A perfect gift for the upcoming holidays. And if you click the link in the description and use code MAGIC at checkout, you can get 20% off your order today. Wow, that all sounds great! Thanks, God! And thanks Ewin Racing for sponsoring this video. One more thing before we get started. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. They're both free and they really help out the channel. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to keep up to date with everything going on on the channel. But let's go ahead and jump into it. We have ourselves Bulbasaur. It is pure ground type, a pure ground type Bulbasaur. It has the last dust ability. And it's essentially a ground type version of Blaze or Overgrow and stuff like that. Um, but to me, this this looks like a little bun, like a, like a pastry, like a little, like, I don't know. <laughs> it just looks like it has like a little bit of powdered sugar on top, like a cream puff uh, <laughs> or something. I don't know. It just looks so cute to me and just like a, a dessert of some kind. But it's super cute and I love it. And I really love its red eye or red eyes, yellow eyes is what I meant to say. Next, we have Charmander, which is pure ice type. Um, and it has a glaciers, a, you know, blaze, but for ice type, you kind of get the picture. Um, but I really love its design. It's very floofy. Like, it looks like it has, like, a winter coat, which is interesting considering it's, like, supposed to be, like, a lizard. Are there lizards with fur? I don't think there are. They usually have scales. So it's interesting that it's, like, maybe its scales mimic that of, a, like, a winter coat. And I also like how it, um, it looks like the flame still on its tail, except it's, like, a, you know, a glacier. To finish off the trio, we have Squirtle, who is a steel type. It has Meltdown. You get, you kind of can understand what that is. But yes, we have a steel ground ice trio, which I think is super cool. Um, I, I think we could get that in the games in the future. Hopefully, it's it's a good trio. You know, maybe fire steel, grass ground, you know, water ice, something like that would be really cool. I could, I could definitely see that happening in the future. But um, yeah, I think this design is also really cool. It's super spiky. Like, guys that like, um, like, what's the word, like, uh, snapping turtle aesthetic to it, kind of like Dreadnought in a way. Um, but yeah, I love this design. Next up, we have Spikesaur. So, uh, new evolution to uh, to Bulbasaur. It's Spikesaur. It's ro uh, ground rock type. So, um, it's still got last dust. And it's more of like a like a horned, uh, what's the word? Horned, de horned devil? I'm, I'm I can't remember if the exact name of the lizard, but yeah, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Um, it's super sleek. I, I really like it's a lot of spikes, a lot of spikes on these this trio. I'm noticing. Next up, we've got Glamillion, which is <laughs> it's glam and is also a glacier. Um, I really think that's cool. I like yeah. Continuing with the spikes, um, we've got the uh, an igloo aesthetic on its arms and its legs, and I really appreciate that. Like I think it's like super um. What's the word? Um, like, f it's like, like for fortified. Fortified, yeah. It's like super fortified by the ice, which is cool. Next up, we got Drilltoast, who's got drills 
everywhere. It's got drills on its on its shell. It's got drills on its tail. Drills on its arm. Like even this is like the spikes everywhere. It's so so many drills. It's like my favorite anime, Gurren Lagann. It just spiral power all the way through. Finally, we have Gem Sore, which is the final evolution of Bulbasaur, and it's just got these these rocks coming out of everywhere. They kind of look like they they might be a little bit gem like. You've got the layered sediment design at the base. It almost looks like it could be part fire type. I'm wondering what these little eye parts are, but they kind of they look intense. They make it look intense for sure. Next up, we got Glacizard, which is an ice dragon type, which is super cool. We got that dragon type for Charizard. Um, it's just now an ice type as well. Um, it's got igloos with little, like, they almost look like bubbles coming out of them. It kind of has, like, an aesthetic of a Blastoise, like Blastoise in it traded places with the cannons coming out of its back. Um, or, like, shell, if as it were. But, uh, yeah, super sick. Finally, for the starters, we've got Oni Turtle, and this one is just my favorite. It's just like a little turtle Oni, and it's just got all the little, like, a Japanese aesthetics to it with the shell, and then it's got, like, the Oni Club for its tail. Super spiky. It's just such a such a well-made design. I, I love it so much. Next up, we got Caterpie, and it is a bug water type, and it looks exactly like a tardigrade, which is a water bear, and that is, like, the best tardigrade mod I've seen. A lot of tardigrades, they, like, try to go with like they, it's called a water bear and so um they like try to mix the like water bear like an actual bear in there and it just doesn't come out right but this one they did the aesthetic really well and i really like how it has like the water drops they like replace the side pattern with water drops too next up we got met a uh, blaboon excuse me i was gonna say metapod it's got blaboon um and it's kind of like the meta it's kind of like metapod it's got water absorb for an ability it was super cool its eyes are really stunning, and it just looks like, it almost looks like a fire water type, because it just looks like it's boiling from within, but that's probably just, like, its actual, like, body inside, you know, uh, you know, metamorphosizing in there. Finally, we've got Glowfly, which this thing is wild looking. Bug water type. It's got, like, a rainbow aesthetic to it. Super, super cool design. Like, I really like how it just looks like pure liquid, like, almost mercury in a way, and it has, like like a fire type aesthetic to it too like it could be like steam like it, it look it looks like heat within these wings maybe it can learn some uh it can learn some fire type moves it's also based off sea butterflies which are also just a super cool um uh thing to uh, base on design after next up we got weedle which is a bug steel type in my opinion i think it should have been bug steel from the beginning it's weedle it's like needle mixed with worm like it's got spikes and then even freaking um uh, B drill has the drills in its hand. Drill, literally. What is a drill made out of? Steel. I mean, you know. But uh, this is that. This this like the aesthetic of this is really cool, and it's got like the floof, kind of like a like a moth, um, in a way. And I, I I really dig how he gave it the two horns. Gives me like blue oni aesthetic to it, and it's got the drill in its tail. Now like more an actual drill in its tail. So let's see what it evolves into. It evolves into Shilkoon. Yes, that's right. Sorry. A, a lot of this I'm remembering as I go. But yeah, it's got like uh, it's like a shield. A shield uh, cocoon, which is such a cool idea for Amon. Like, I, 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 I think like a, a shield-based um, cocoon Pokemon. Like, if there we ever got a bug steel type in the future um, for our, like, a regional bug, I think this would be really cool as an aesthetic for, like, a shield cocoon. That's just my opinion. But I think it's really, really well done in that, in that regard. And finally, we've got... Ongwasp. Um, it's a fencing um, Beedrill. It's like a more sleekly designed Beedrill. Kind of like a halfway between Beedrill and, and Scyther in a way. And I really enjoy how like like angular and, and thin it is. It just looks very like speedy. Um, it's got no guard which is what perfect for this, this design. And yeah it's just very armored. Really cool aesthetic to it. Next up, we've got Pidgey, which is pure flying type. And with the flying type, they didn't just give it flying type. They gave it, like, the wind aesthetic to it. You can see, like, this, like, wind-esque symbols in its, uh, in its plumage there. And, like, on its, like, like, yeah, like, its plumage. It's more, like, flowy. And it's got the, like, whirlwind tail, which is super cool. I know what direction this goes, and it's super sick. So here, here we go. It evolves into Pidgeabolt. So we've got, uh, instead of it evolving to Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeotto and then Pidgeot, it, it turns into a trio evolution, kind of like Eevee in, in that way. Um, and it, so it's got Lightning Rod, it's the Bolt Pokemon, based on Thunderbird, it's kind of got that Thundercloud on its head. Like, I really like what he did with the plumage there, giving it like a, a Thundercloud for the, like, the plume of its, um, on its head. And you can see these little, like, they, they look like, um, heartbeats in a way. 
Oh, what's that called? There's, there's, there, the, there's a, is it stenographer? No, a stenographer. That's not it. Um, I'm thinking of something, but it's also, but the design all around, it's got very electric elements to it, and I, I, I really like that. Next up, we got Pidge a Blast, which also has like the fire, like a fire cloud now, and it's just, I really love this pose, like when it's like, whoa. <laughs> I like how it's this pose, is what I was trying to say, like when they, when they go like this. I don't always feel like that's a, such an epic bird pose. And you can see like the tail slowly gets hotter, like as it gets more white, you know, I think the like the closer to white the, the flame is, the hotter it gets um, kind of thing. So really nice design there. And it, it's got the, it's got like the Moltres vibes in its wings where it's got the flames going along and Talon flame, obviously. Um, but yeah, I really like how he managed to make the, it unique with the plumage. Finally, we have Pidgeot Weiss, which I think is my favorite out of the trio. I think it's so cool. It's just got these little snow-capped mountains for, on its plumage and like these little curlies that go over its eyes. It, it just kind of feels a little derpier to me just because of that. And I really like the ice shard in the tail and like you can see the plumage. I say plu I've, How many times have I said plumage in the past freaking minute and a half um but it looks like snow and uh with the feathers but it's actually just a part of the feathers which is genius genius moving on we've got rattata and it is a psychic type and it's super fluffy it's sitting up on its tail it's kind of got that abra look to it um but it kind of can see the ears they have like little eyes like as if it put its uh ears over its eyes it looked like it'd be awake with like those um like those sunglasses people wear where there's the eyes that make them look like they're awake but they're not kind of like that and it's it's super cute super cute design i like how they made it cuter rotata and they went kind of the opposite direction of alone rotata where alone rotata was dark but this one is psychic so next up we've got rotataf which is a psychic type it's got this little uh, it, using telekinesis on an orin berry, and it's just got eyes on eyes on eyes, and there's actually like it looks like actual eyes in the ears. It's got a third eye, and they all just look very like hypnotic and super like in tune. And I think this might like its tail might be trying to replicate a staff. Yeah, all the, all of its power from its tail and staff, like its tail, its staff, and it's a tail. That's super super cool. I really like that that little aesthetic to it. Like it has a staff. Um, as a tail. Next up, we've got Spiro, the other uh, flying type Pokemon, and this one's ice flying type, um, and it looks like super like bundled up. Like it, I don't know, I don't know if that's like a hat, like a kind of hat. It looks like it would be some kind of hat, um, like it's like on a design basis off of. But we've got another ice flying um, bird here, so we've got Pidgeot Ice, and now we've got Spiro. Um, I wonder if it'll evolve into a unique evolution. There's a lot of unique evolutions in this region. But um, no, it's got just regular Firo. Oh, I love, oh, I love that. I love how they made like the the little um, crown that it has into more of like a spiky um, plumage, um, and they gave like the sharpness of its beak and like an ice, like an ice pick aesthetic to it. But it's literally made out of ice. Um, and yeah, just super, super cool. Next up, we got Ekans, which is a water poison type, and it is based on sea snakes, sea crates, whatever you want to uh, name them after. But yeah, poisonous sea snakes. Um, it, it's just really well done. I like how it's the water, like the blue for water type and the black. But usually they're like some of some of them are blue or black, blue and black. Some of them are white and black. Um, and I just really like this aesthetic. I want. I think it doesn't evolve into Arbok. It evolves into something different. Yes, it evolves into. Adnokana, which is Anaconda backwards, um, and it is Water Dragon type now, not even Water Poison type anymore. It's got Swift Swim. It says Swim Swift, but I think it means Swift Swim. Um, but yeah, and it, I, I just I, I think this is super cool. It, like it has that face of Arbok without being Arbok, you know, and it's got the coils kind of like Sandaconda. Um, and I, I think that Adnokana is such a good name. Um, I think there could be lots of different names like viper that could be ripev or something like that i don't know just spitballing next up we've got the iconic pikachu and it is the new radiation type um it's got an ability called active and it's set when the user faints the attacker's stats will all be decreased by one stage super cool like it's just like a way of like uh is there a, i think the move parting shot does something like that where like they like um it's like um u-turn but instead it um it like gives them a like weakens them instead of damaging them I'm, maybe i'm wrong i'm pretty sure 
I'm pretty sure there's something like that. I might have to move wrong. But this is super cool. It has this, like, magnets on its ears. Like, I'm not sure if those are supposed to be magnets, but it's radiation. And that's just, I don't know, something about the radiation type seems, feels so uncomfortable. Because, like, you're, not, you're supposed to stay away from radiation, right? So this mod is, like, very, like different than anything we've seen before. It evolves into Raichu instead of Raichu because it was the Ray Pokemon before, now it's the radi uh, you know, radiation Pokemon. It's also it's still the Ray Pokemon, but it's uh, it's made of radiation, so it's Raichu. It's got these bulbs and it's like very like it's super happy and it like has those like star eyes. Um so it's really like it looks very jovial. Um but yeah, super super interesting mon. Next up we got Sandshrew, which is a pure dark type. And it is just so cool. It plays very hard into the Armadillo aesthetic, which I dig a lot. It almost has Pangolin-esque features to it in a, in a way. Um, and it's just, it's really just, I, I just, I enjoy this. And I love its eyes. Its eyes are very, like, capturing. And I like the dark typing with it, too. Yes, it's Tox Slash. Yeah, that's the thing about the eyes. The eyes look like sunglasses. That's why I, I dig them so much. I remember this now. Yeah, it's a dark poison type now. And it's got these poisonous claws, and it's got these, like, huge... Oh, man. It just... <laughs> I, I really dig this aesthetic. It looks very, like... I almost said Bamfy. Who has who's said Bamfy in the last, like, ten years? Me, apparently. <laughs> Next, we got Nidoran, and it is normal fairy type. So, uh, no poison type. It is just the complete opposite. It's a little star. It's a little star child. Um, it, it's super cute. It's Nidoran. This is the female version, so let's look at the male. We're going straight to Nidorina, actually. It's still normal fairy type. Got Q Charm. It's the Star Rider Pokemon. Kind of like Kirby. Super cute. Like, just looks a little chubby. A little cute in the face. The ears are a little different. And I, I think that's, instead of making them, like, spikes, they're kind of, like, tape, or tapered off to make them look, like, more spaceshipy almost. It's interesting. And then finally, we have Nido Queen. It's Dragon Fairy. And it's just got these, like, huge star wings. Wow, and I like the cos like cosmos like flowing through it almost. It like very like like stars all over it, um, in its um, pattern too. Wow, ugh, gosh, I, I I never really took a hard look at some of these mods. Like I I saw them and I thought they looked cool, but I never really looked at them in detail before. Oh yeah, it also has a star on the horn. I didn't notice that before. Like there's certain details I I missed that I'm like learning now, which is super cool. Next, we've got Nidoran Male, which is also Normal Fairy, um, and it's got Moon. It's more of a Moon aesthetic than a Star aesthetic, and I really like its, like, little Moon horn. And, like, just the, the Moon's all over it. Very, very Umbreon, but also, like, oh, it's also even got these Crescents coming off of its ear. Like, all it, it's just Moons everywhere. Moons for days. Next, we've got Nidorino, also Normal Fairy, riding that, that little disc here. I'm pretty sure they stay the same type, right? I, I think... I think that they, they keep that typing, but yeah, it's got the double moons in the ear and the, the like. It's got little crescents coming out of its back now. So I wonder what Needle King's gonna be like. Needle King is also Dragon Fairy. Wow, I like I I I, I always prefer regular Needle King over Needle Queen, but I also prefer regular ne or this Needle King over the other uh, Needle Queen because it's just like the blues and like the little bit of the yellow just match so well together. It just like it reminds me of like a like a kid's storybook, like a nighttime book or something like that, like something I'd read to my daughter. Just the 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 blue, the way the blues mix mix together, so cool. Next up, we've got some more stars with Calafari. It's very flying. Um, now it's it's you know got that flying type. I'm pretty sure it evolves into something different, but I'll save that. Uh, but it kind of looks like a Luma from uh, from Mario Galaxy, which I think is super cute. It evolves into Clefagon, which is a fairy dragon type. That's that's where I was leaning with the, you know, it evolves differently. Um, it's got these, like, cute wings. It reminds me of, I think I've said this in the past, it reminds me of Gaia Online. These little swirls with the wings. Um, and it's just very cutesy, like, very big Gudra energy, Guma, Gumi energy, where it's that cute dragon type. And Dragonite as well. Yeah, that cute, cute dragon type. Just curious, I forgot what they did with Dragonite, actually. Next up, we've got Vulpix, which is a ghost fire type, and it's got, like, this skull mask now. It, it's got these, like, like lines under its eyes. It's just pure, that pure red eye is just terrifying. And I really like how all of its tails are, like, up in, like, 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 ready to attack. Almost like, you know, you know how, like, 
there would be certain animals that stick like their tail up when they're like ready like scorpions for, for example it's kind of got like a scorpion tail um look to it but it's very very like ready to attack next up we got nine tails which is not nine tails as in like the t-a-l-e-s it's nine tails as in t-a-i-l-s um so it's tell me if i spelled that wrong i probably did but it's more of an inari we kind of got um hisui and zoroark to fill that now but uh this was back in like this is 29 weeks ago so it was april um so it's like it's got the full-on inari with the face paint and it's like ghost and it's got that little um gosh i can't remember the name of it but it's like the rope that's like a necklace and, and it's kind of you see them at temples a lot anyway it's super cool next up we've got jigglypuff which is super interesting it's got two different forms fairy and fairy ice which is super interesting so yeah we got, we got one a jello one and a ice cream one and they're both like they're both desserts and i like how it has little bits of pineapple floating in it i love pineapple it's my favorite fruit um it's just super cute uh, but yeah it's got the it's fairy for an entirely different reason like it was fairy i'm pretty sure it was normal fairy or maybe it was pure no it's normal fairy and so now it's just pure fairy and it's something completely different and it evolves into wiggle cream which is fairy iced so the way to evolve it is to like i think raise a, a fairy ice one with the fa normal fairy one and they like evolve together and like fuse in a way yeah if the, they raise together at the same level they will evolve into wiggle cream so yeah exactly and the wiggle makes complete sense like like it's jiggly it's wiggly from the the jello and it's creamy from the ice cream and it's got this little it's got like an all creamy aesthetic to it next up we've got zubat who's looking like he's straight out of dragon ball z got that super saiyan 3 hair to him he's electric flying type i i a lot of people don't know this but i like zubat i think zubat is super cool i love uh, golbat and i especially love crobat crobat's one of my favorite pokemon um so this is super cool it's got like these little spikes on its wings that are like it is all it exudes that like staticness to it and these um like its feet kind of look like like jacks to like a um, stereo stereo jack um which all around super cool like i really it really improved the design honestly i really like the improvements they did there next up we've got golbat and it is just full-on hair hair like it is a hair band glam rock <laughs> just go going crazy with the hair um, super, super neat aesthetic. It, instead of having a huge mouth, it has huge hair and huge ears. Next up, we've got Oddish, which is grass dark type, and it looks like, like a turnip or a beet or something. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's more so like, or a radish? Is it a radish? Um, but yeah, it's, it's grass dark type. It's a prankster. It looks like it's kind of got like a sinister face to it. It's kind of got like a little emo bang coming over a little bit. It evolves into egg gloom. So it's like an eggplant? Dude. <laughs> I forgot about this, an eggplant gloom. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. It will prank Pokemon and people by making them eat plastic food instead of its group. Interesting, so it replaces, like, people think that they're eating egg gloom. It's a little morbid, but, um, instead they're eating plastic. That's fun. That's fun. That's a fun little prank. Next up, we got Eggu Bloom. Instead of Vile Bloom, it's, you know, continuing the grass dark type. It's got, like, the, it's like a scarf made of... Um, like leaves and I think that's super cool. it's got like a mixture of um, blossom and uh, vile plume here in its aesthetic like it's got so like it's like little um, flower on top is bigger than uh, blossom but it's also smaller than vile plume and it has the same kind of face as vile plume and rather than the like different kind of face that um, blossom has next up is Paris and it is a bug ground type and you can totally see it Literally, it's just like a slab of dirt for a shell and on its head. And it looks like cracked earth, like, on its on its shell, too. It's an interesting aesthetic. I would have probably kept it this the square. I think this little crack here is a little interesting. I, like, interesting as in, like, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool nonetheless. Next up, we've got Trafisect. And it's bug ground type. It actually looks like that um, that thing that was um, coming out of its shell was actually a rock. So it's just like a big old rock. Got that crustal. Um, and almost Avalug flatness to it in in that way i think that's cool it's cool instead of it having like a parasite taking over it, it has a rock taking over it next up we got venonat and it is a bug fighting type which is interesting i don't exactly see where the fighting type comes in it kind of looks like manky in a way these maybe kind of could be nunchucks I'm not, I'm not exactly seeing the fighting type here 
but um, it uses its hard horns to fight. Okay, so it uses its horns as like a weapon, so I guess I could see it. I, I guess I could see it. Next up is Venom Whip. That is sick. Completely different than Venomoth. I really prefer this evolution, honestly. This is sick. Like, freaking using its, like, little um, antenna as whips. Like, he's a whip fighter. So cool. And I love the gauntlets that they gave it. Wow. Yeah. Super cool evolution. Next up, we've got Diglett, which is a groundwater type. And it is Sea Sponge. It's a little Sea Sponge Diglett. Got the little blue head. Kind of reminds me of the um, Slowpoke. Corneran Slowpoke as well as Galarian Slowpoke have that little thing there. Um, but yeah, cute. Next up, we got Doug Trio, also groundwater type, and now it's like sponge with a little, like coral and other kind of um, different bits, and it looks like it's a camouflage, so it like mimics sea creatures so that it doesn't like get eaten or something. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, so it can hunt, duh. So it can hunt, um, makes it think, uh, you know, its prey think it's safe, and then they attack. Next up, we got Meowth, um, and you know, every region has a Meowth, but this one is radiation type. And this dude, it looks like he is coked out, rabies out the butt, literally just <laughs> rabies everywhere. It looks like it's melting. It's it's in interesting aesthetic. This radiation type is throwing me through, a, throwing me for a loop because it's just so different than any other design aesthetic we've seen from Pokemon. Next up, we've got Dister. Oh yeah, I remember this. Literally, Dister, as in it's disturbing. It, like it's literally disturbing. That thing is. Creepy, bro. <laughs> it's so creepy. This looks like like our Cronenberg monster or freaking something from the, you know, like Cthulhu-esque monster. What's the what? What is Lovecraftian? It's very Lovecraftian. Next up is Psyduck, and it is a psychic type. Yes, Psyduck, psychic type. Finally, it only it just makes so much sense. I got in an argument with someone on Instagram about this. It, it, it's a psychic type. It's, it, it deserves to be a psychic type. It has psychic in the name. It has psychic powers. Doesn't matter if it can control them or not. It still has psychic powers. It has access to them. So why shouldn't its powers be reflected in its type? Just saying. Anyway, continuing on. The design is super, super awesome. I really like the, uh, like, it's little, like, it almost looks like its head is part of a crystal ball in its stomach. Like, it's channeling its psychic energy through its stomach. Kind of like Buddha rubbing my belly kind of thing. I don't know. Next up, we've got Golduck, which is also psychic type, looking super knowledgeable, super elderly. The advisor Pokemon looks like, yeah, yeah, he looks like those advisors in sci-fi movies that you see that are like, yes, you should make this move, king, my king, my lord. Yeah, definitely has that aesthetic to it, and I like its little collar around its neck. It looks like it evolves again into Wise Duck, and it is a psychic flying type. So we added that flying type, it's got more, like, feathers, more word of the day, plumage to it. Um, and I got the little, I like the little V coming out of its chest. Like, almost kind of looks like a heart. Um, very cool, very cool. Next up, we got Mankey, and it's a dark fighting type, and I love that. It has full-on boar aesthetic to it. Got those tusks coming out and, instead. Um, I, I just, I just love this. I love this in, incarnation of it. It gave it, like, a more thicker, bushier tail. All around solid. Next up, we got Apor. And so, it's just, like, a mixture of a freaking... Gorilla with a boar, and that's so cool. I really, really dig that. It gave it more boar-like features in its face. I love the huge fists, ready to just like pound on someone. They got the little X's on the arms, just you know, it's it's a dirty fighter. It's it's been through some stuff, so you know, you know, when you see these X's, you know that character's been through some stuff. Next up, we got Growlithe, which is fire poison type. This one is sick. I really like its design. Like it's got this scorpion tail to it. Very got the, like the like hair. It's cr like as a crown very angular, and it evolves into Arcor. It is and finally a Manticore Pokemon, and I like how he made the tail not a straight up a stinger, but it's like a fur stinger. Um, and it's he's got this like mask, it's very Spyro actually, it's kind of what it reminds me of is the, his, the, the horns there and the wings. Um, but yeah, just a sick Manticore Arcanine Pokemon. Next up, we got Poliwag, continuing with the poison type. It's got poison point. It's got these little spikes coming out of it. Very spiky, very poisony, very up to no good. I like it. Next up, we got Polybarb, which has got this whole ass cactus looking thing on its back. Very, like, it's got these spikies. Oh, and I'll notice too on its, like, swirls. It's got spikes on its swirls too now. Like, kind of like rose poison in a way. Like, kind of looks like a vine in the, sp uh, in the spikes. Next up, we've got Poly Spike, and now its head is just like this full, it's got, look at this chrome dome, dude. Like, full on spikes everywhere. And it looks like, a, it's like a fruit. It's got like these, 
I was like, it's almost like Mineta from <laughs> My Hero, where it can like pull from its head and like throw spikes. Yeah, it shoots, it shoots the orbs on its head and it will explode and spread toxic gas. So it's like a poison version of Mineta. Um, and so yeah, it's also got the spikes on its thing now. It's look, it looks like they're like facing different directions. Next up we got Abra, which is a psychic dark type. So, <laughs> this design is so cool. Like, I really like its flowiness. It's very ethereal, dark, menacing, and its eyes have changed a little bit. And just like, it's just all very like menacing and like it looks it kind of reminds me of the puppets from uh, naruto um it's got that kind of aesthetic to it next up we've got hocus so it's not kadabra so we got hocus i'm sure you can imagine what the last one's gonna be but uh yeah i got hocus that's holding this scroll a scroll what is this marvel um sc <laughs> scroll oh my god wow scroll in its hand and it's got the the, the rib cage like designed exposed it's uh, it's got a third eye here very subtle detail there, but it, yeah, it does have a third eye, like, slit. I don't know how else to say that. Um, got a third eye slit there. Um, like, it's it got these kind of, like, gauntlet. Like, he's very, like, armor. Like, all these uh, uh, mods have very, like, armored aesthetic to them. Most of them, I shouldn't say. Not all of them. Finally, we got Pocus. Yes, you, you, you could see it coming. Hocus and Pocus. It's got this grimoire now. Its third eye is open. He's got the, um... Uh, Plague Doctor mask look, and I love the way that like it has this like armor armor on its chest, and the colors just mix so well together. The the you know yellow of Abra with the black of this new thing, it's just very like very cool. And it's got Contrary, which I'm pretty sure actually um, the other psychic dark type. What's its name? Oh man, it's escaping me. Malamar. Malamar also has Contrary. I'm pretty sure. So this kind of got like a Malamar. Um, rival to it. Next up, we got Machop, and it's a fighting fairy type. Interesting, the choice of fighting fairy. I would have, I would have thought fighting dark, um, with how like it looks like an oni, right? It's got this very oni ogre, goblin look to it. It's very spiky. This man likes his spikes. You can tell. Next up, we've got Machoger. So it's an ogre. Yeah, full on ogre now. It's got that scratch on the front. You can tell. Been through some stuff. Um, he's <laughs> got a scar like that on his chest. He's got, he's been through something. Um, so I like this. It's got, it's, it feels teenagery to me, which I like that. Cause like, I feel like the transition from Machoke to Machamp feels like a, almost a little forced. Like you just, it, like it only gives it for, like to the two extra arms, which is huge. But like, I feel like this like makes it feel like, oh, you know, it, it's a more of a progression because it already feels kind of like an adult, like a two stager with Machop and Machoke. But then you add Machamp in there, and it kind of just doesn't make sense in a way. I don't know, kind of a hot take. Finally, we've got Mach King, which, oh, I like this so much. I love this aesthetic. Like, the fighting fairy type really doesn't make sense to me. I think it should be fighting dark. Like, it feels very dark, menacing, evil. Like, he's got some bulging veins. My God. <laughs> this dude's been hitting the roids. Um, <laughs> dude, geez. Um, got this, like, V scar which is interesting. I wonder what could have formed that. But yeah, this very, like, very macho fighting type. It's got muscles on muscles on muscles. And yeah, I dig it. Next up, we got Bellsprout, which is a grass water type. I think it's after those bell plants. Are they called bell plants? Bell? Something like that. But they have, they, like, let the rain hit the top of their little, like, leaf and it knocks flies who are sipping the sweetness underneath. Like, it knocks the flies in and eats them. I saw this in a nature documentary. This is what it reminds me of. But, yeah, it's cute. It's got this little, like, Karen, like, Karen haircut to it. <laughs> Next up, we've got Lily Bell, grass water type. It feels, feels so pure. Like, so pure, because it's not grass poison anymore. Is it grass poison? Yeah, it was grass poison, right? Yeah, so it feels so pure and innocent. Next up is Ly uh, Leo Crabel. Wow, that's a tough one to say. Um, but this one is just, like, completely on the opposite end of the spectrum of Victory Bell. Like, <laughs> like it's so, like it's almost it almost looks like sea life, like some kind of like fish or something. It's so interesting. It's got these like lilies coming off of it. Like, it's so pretty. It gives me that blossom feeling to it. Actually, next up we've got Tentalpha. It's a ghost psychic type. Wait, hold on, Tentalpha. That's a new mon. I've never heard of that mon. Well, you might you might hear about it in here in a second. It's a ghost psychic type, and it involves a two. Tentacool, Tentalpha, Tentacool, Tentacruel. Maybe, I'm not sure. I can't remember if it evolves into Tentacruel. But it's a ghost psychic type, 
All of them are, uh, all, the whole trio, I'm pretty sure it's go Psychic. And it's just such a super cool aesthetic. Um, I, th I think, like, the way he made the, like, its head transparent, like a traditional jellyfish, and it, like, feels like a flowing cloak. And it's, it really, like, the ghost type really fits Tentacle very well. Um, with that, like, that that kind of um, aesthetic to it. Finally, we've got, oh yeah, Tent Omega. Excuse me. Tenta Omega. It's not, uh, it's like a Tenta Alpha, Tentacool, and Tenta Omega. I feel like, like, Tentacool doesn't really fit in the Alpha and Omega in the middle there, but that's just me. But it, it kind of is like a Portuguese man of war um, in a way, and it's got these, like, I, I can't tell if these are eyes, but they're menacing as hell. Like, maybe they're supposed to be used to, like, like, keep, you know, distract predators so that they don't think that like they're gonna get hurt because big eyes usually means big monster or something like that it's big regardless and it's got like all this flowing -ness to it it's just so flowy it's just so flowy and i like that next up we got geo dude which is rock steel very spiky pointy like looks like gold yeah it is the, it's the gold pokemon so there you go geo dude it's got it, it's a it's a gold version of geo dude next up we got gold spin um, it reminds me of those freaking monsters from Chrono Trigger. I can't remember their names. I'll have to look them up. I probably won't remember to edit this in, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, it kind of looks like an ice cream cone mixed with, like, like a pine cone mixed with gold. It's it's interesting. It's an interesting mod. It's not my favorite. I think it's a little bit different. Um, I, I kind of like the original line better, but we'll see what it evolves into. It evolves into Goal Beast. Okay, I kind of take back. I, I like this. I like this better, actually. I really like Gold Beast. Like, I really like how it, like, gains. It, you know, goes from having two arms to having two arms and, like, a base and having four arms. It's really interesting. It does kind of look like ice cream cones to me, which makes me feel like. <laughs> makes me not take it as seriously, but I think that, like, its fierceness really is super cool. All right, we got Ponyta, which is a water type. It's got a starfish, a little star you, on its chest there. So cute. I like its little fin coming from it. It's kind of like a Kelpie. Is it a Kelpie? Is that what it's called? There's there's one, there's 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 a water horse. It's There's a Kelpie and there's also another one. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I think it might be Capricorn. I think Capricorn's actually part horse. No, that's part goat. I'll figure it out. Next up, we've got Kelotion. And it is beautiful. It's got like a Kirin aesthetic to it. And it's like... It's got this, like, the shell on the front, it's almost, like, reminiscent of, uh, of Slowbro on its, on its front there. It's armored, it's very elegant, and, like, it's like a Kirin mixed with a Kelpie, mixed with a seahorse, like an actual seahorse, like, it's a seahorse. Kind of wild. It's really, it's really a wild aesthetic, and I, I like it, I like it a lot. Slowpoke! Oh my god! What have they done to my boy? He's ghost water type. He's got these, like, ugh, ugh. The vents in the back's giving, like, triggering my tryptophobia, because it's just like skin that just coming, it's just coming straight up. Ugh, 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 I don't like it. Creepy, creepy. Next up, we got Slowbro, and something I didn't point out about the last one, it's actually the tails, like, cut off. So these are like the Slowbros who got their tails cut off. But uh, now it's got the shell on its back, and it releases it in vents. A little less creepy to me, still a little weird. It's got a new ability called Moist Mist, that if the Pokemon uh, in, in battle if the Pokemon with this is in ability is in battle, it will normalize any status change. Just normalize. You mean like kind of like neutralizing gas? I guess that must be what it means. Next up, we got Magnemite, and it is a radiation and steel type. This is so so interesting. I like it. it's got like the robot aesthetic to it rather than like the magnets. That's interesting. I, I like that. Next up, we got Magna Raid. Okay, so new evolutions here, um, and they're both like you know they're connected by like their their like quote unquote tail. Which is interesting, so they can't be too far from each other, but they can spread out a little more than Magneton can. Next up, we got Farfetch'd, and I thought it was going to be Magnezone, but Magnezone is in Gen 4, and this is only Gen 1 Pokemon. But anyway, Far Farfetch'd, it's rock normal type, and it's got, you can see its beak has, it kind of has that rock aesthetic to it. It looks like it was actually, like, a fossilized version of uh, Farfetch'd, like a, like a, a one lost to time kind of thing. So that's really an, an interesting aesthetic to apply. It's like a prehistoric... Farfetch, which I find cool. Next up, we got Kidu. It's a ground ice type. It's so cute. So cute. It is a pre evolution to Doduo. And I just, I, I love it. If we got something like this for Doduo, I would not mind. 
Like, even if it were just normal Doe Duo, and it was just kind of like this little Kiwi guy, I think it would be super cute. Like, one, two, three kind of builds to it. But next up, we've got Doe Duo, which is a ground ice type. It is the bird Pokemon. It is, um, it is just got, it's just got these droopy, kind of hippie aesthetic to it, with the hair, like the ice, like, slush coming over its eyes and stuff like that. Very, very cool. And finally, we've got Dredrio. Yeah. It's dragon and ice type. <laughs> like, it's representative of, it, you know, the move Tri-Attack. And it's it's got, like, the the electric, the fire, and then the uh, the ice. Kind of the... It's kind of water, actually. And then it has ice here. And this almost looks to me like eyes. Like, it's actual... It's got a fourth face down here with the little beak. Kind of what it looks like to me. Could be. Probably not. And then you can, you know, you could just add a fifth face on the tail, kind of like <laughs> Alolan Exeggutor. Next up, we got a fighting type seal, and it is super, like, muscly and, like, ready to fight. Um, it almost kind of reminds me of, like, manatees, how they would get the scrape up on their back because of the, the motorboats. Makes me really sad. Kind of reminds me of that, but maybe it's, like, something like that. It says it was a struggle being hunted as always, but this form makes it impossible to be hunted so it can hunt the hunters. Okay. So it's kind of a reversal of that, in a way. Next up, we got Leomach, which is just wild looking. I hate to say this, because I don't... I think it might be kind of an insult, in a way. It's not really an insult, by the way I mean it. It looks like a Digimon to me. It reminds me of a uh, Ikakumon, or, or Gomamon, or something like that. Like, the, that kind of aesthetic. Um, super muscly, freaking walrus sea lion mon. And even, like, Leomon, too, because, like, it kind of in there. Next up, we got Grimer. It's so cute. It's a ground type, which I think is a perfect variant for uh, Grimer. I think I think a sandy Grimer would be super cool. Like maybe a Grimer who made its way into the desert and like adapted into ground type. I don't know. Ground poison would be cool too. Um, <clears throat> I know we've already had a variant, but I think it would still be cool. But I like this one. It's kind of got like a like a muddy like a putty. What's the word? Putty. Is that a, is that is that a thing? I'm thinking of the putties maybe from uh, from Power Rangers in that in that way that like is just like this dirt that came to life kind of thing. Next up we got Grumby. Oh no, he's like <laughs> it's like Gumby, but uh, it's like it, it's a zombie, but it's um, a ground ghost type zombie. Um, it's just like that face. That face is crazy. That's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> it's it's so it's really cool though. I like I like the like dirt zombie. Because, you know, zombies come from the dirt, right? Next up, we got Shelder. It's a water normal type. And it's an oyster, um, which is, like, interesting. Because we had cloister before, but this is, like, a literal oyster. And it's got liquid ooze, so it's, like, oozing. The, it likes to smell on Slowpoke's back and will feed on it. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like that. Ugh. <laughs> I forgot about Slowpoke. And then it reminded me. Next up, we got Cloister, and it is water fire type. Screw the water normal. We got water fire now. And this thing is intense. It's it's like got the shell of um slowpoke. Like it's 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 using the shell of that like that slowpoke mon that's on its tail that no one like it's got no ex quote unquote explanation to it. Like it's it's supposed to be cloister, but it looks completely different. I'm pretty sure like it was planned to be its own original mon. Um you know, and so like kinda like Aerocuda with uh Cramorant, we figured out that Aerocudo was going to be a Pokemon because of Cramorant. That's how I feel about Slowpoke's tail. I feel like that was what was going to happen, but then didn't. But, huge tangent. This mon, this mon is epic. I really like the heat coming from the tip of its tail, and it just looks like a like a heated pearl um, sitting in this, like, Slowpoke tail, which is a, a, a dope a, a dope design aesthetic. Next up, we got Ghastly, and it is not a ghost. It is a normal poison type. It is re It has been revived. It is that prankstery little kid that, um, that, like, uh, it's, it's the, there are a lot of ghastly that have been revived and returned to life. People love this ghastly more, but it is also naughty and toxic. Exactly. So it's that toxic little kid in the playground. It evolves into Haunter, and, uh, it, look, it's got, like, that freaking Phantom Thieves design aesthetic to it. You'll never see this one coming. Um, <laughs> it's cool. I really like how they managed, they, what they did was... Um, they made the gloves on the hands and then the mask kind of like the original Haunter like because you could only you know have the you know hands in the face right but then they added like around that which I, I find to be really cool it's got this like 
Excavalier, like, or I should say, I guess, Cavalier um, floof on the back of its head. And then finally, we have Gengar. Oh, this is so cool. I really like what they did with this, because they managed to keep that Gengar aesthetic while making it humanoid, because it's like, oh, this is actually a revived version of what Gengar would have looked like. Instead of being a shadow, it's actually, like, this full-on human knight kind of thing, almost. And yeah, it's called the Noble Pokemon. Um, it only shows its toxicity towards its enemies, and it will protect its partner and, and from all damage. This is just so, so cool. Such a cool aesthetic. Gengar is what it, like, it's a fan favorite, for sure, and so they, he did this justice, for sure. Next up is Pebix. I think uh, Pebix is like a common uh, thing in the community. A lot of people do like a Pebix or a Peblix, something like that. It's a pre-evolution to Onyx, obviously. Um, and it's kind of like got like like a sunstone, like but literal sunstone aesthetic to it. It's rock fire type, obviously, if you couldn't tell already. I don't know if I even said that. It's got flame body, but it's a fire snake. It's really cute, and I like the like the the gems. Like, uh, uh, that, like, the color of the gems is very inviting and attractive. Very warm, you know, like a fire. <laughs> Next up, we have Onyx, which is a rock fire type, and got the full-on sun. Like, got that sunstone, freaking soul rock aesthetic there, and it's got it on its face. Very cool. Like, managed to keep that, like, it's still, it feel, still is very much Onyx. Um, like, almost like Mega Steelix, but if Steelix didn't exist, this is what Mega Onyx would look like. You know what I'm saying? Next up, we got Drowsy, which is a Psychic Electric type, which is such such an interesting type there. Um, it uses electric waves to heal or harm, so it can use it like like a like a taser in a way. Interesting, like electroshock therapy in a way. Next up, we've got Sagro. Yes, I remember this dude. This dude is wild looking like this guy looks like he just came straight from like an amp a party in amsterdam or germany or something just like like a like a halloween party in amsterdam like just crazy drugged out looking kind of dude <laughs> that's what it looks like to me i like it a lot though it's 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 a cool design overall it's just that's what kind of what it reminds me of next up we've got crabby steel water type I dig this. I dig this so much. And I like how it has like a little screw on its on its claw to make it look like it's cl opening and closing. I think that's that's a nice little design detail. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like armored like samurai, uh, like samurai knight or something like or a knight, something like that. Um, that that kind of aesthetic to it. it kind of has these like the the um, it's like teeth, quote unquote, are more sharp and they kind of look like a helmet in in that way. Um, and it evolves into King Kava. So it's like a Cavalier, like I said before. And now it's, it's almost like a steam engine mixed with a Cavalier. Like, and I like how it has the sword and then like a spiky shield. Like they made it even like one big, like the Kingler has the one big claw and the one small, but this one has a big claw and then a defensive claw, which I think is a really neat idea for maybe a future, um, future Crabmon. I think it could be really cool, like a steel type crab. Have we done a steel type? We don't have a steel type crab, do we? Have I, we have we have freaking um, Caesar, but that's not really a crab, huh? I don't know. Next up, we have Voltorb, Steel Fire. Um, it's just like it looks like a hot ball of iron. Like someone just took it right out of the freaking um, forge and just threw it out here and just like, hey, here it is. It's gonna fight you now. <laughs> like imagine trying to escape a hot ball of iron. Like, fighting a hot ball of iron, and you can't escape. <laughs> Just as an arena trap. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. Yeah, but that thing this thing looks menacing. Super menacing. Next up, we've got Boomrod. And this is giving me the bomb from Final Fantasy aesthetic. I love that. I love it so much. I love the bombs from Final Fantasy. They're annoying as hell, but they are just so iconic. And this is this this follows suit with that. Next up, we got Execute, and it is a poison and rock type. And I like how the broken one has turned into like a pot of like poison now instead of it being broken, which is kind of sad. It's got new purpose. It's a bowl. He's now a bowl to hold the poison, and it's I like that. It's it's, it's like the rocks are sharp. Like um, it is a foreign Execute, but came from a different region by some other Pokemon. Interesting. So. This even in this Kanto version, like this new version of Kanto, is got its own um, origin story there. It evolves into Exotoxis, Exo, Exotoxy. Interesting. Exit is Exotoxy. 
Okay, I think I got it. Exotoxicy. And it is, yeah, like, it has actual bowls now. Like, it's using the dude that was a bowl as actual bowls to hold this, to hold this like, poison gelatin. Like, it's a, it's a toxic syrup. It can kill an elephant in an instant. Interesting that they chose to use elephant instead of, like, a Don fan. <laughs> but, yeah, it's cool. It's like a tower of poison, giving me that, like, you know, Lord of the Rings tower thing aesthetic. Sauron. There it is. Man, killed it, Brandon. <laughs> Next up, we got Cubone, which is dark ground, and I like how they played into the skeletal aesthetic. Like they made the give it gave it a bigger bone, gave it this like rib cage pattern, and made it like more fierce with the like its um, skull. You know, very very menacing feeling to it. And I like that. Then it evolves into Marowak. Bro, you gotta be kidding me! This is dope. Look at that, it's got, a, like, it's sharpened the bones into, like, weapons. Like, it's a hunter now. I like that, and it's kind of got this, like, like Native American, you know, aesthetic to it, too. And it's got these, like, this mohawk. So cool. So cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It evolves again into Dreadnought. Uh, that is sick. Wow, look at that freaking full-on Zabuza level freaking <laughs> sword there with the serrated edge. Bro, this, this dude's taking out anybody that comes to fight it. Wow. I like how it went full with the the skull. It's like full-on helmet now. Like, it's just a part of it. That's cool. That's cool. Next up, we got him on Lee, and it's fighting water type. It looks really unsure of itself. Also, I don't know how I feel about it having abs. I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like that. Oh, man. But it's we got we had Raichu, uh, Lola Raichu, which was a surfer Pokemon, but this is a full-on surfer. He's got these, like, tattoos to him, too. Still unsure on the abs. Don't know if I like the abs. <laughs> Next up, we got him on Chan. That looks... That's... That's wild. How, like, it... It's... You can see all the elements of Hitmon Chan are there, but it looks just so completely different. Like, it's got the hair. Like, this... It, like, the hair that's usually... Like, it's not, like, hair, but, like, the crown that it has, it's usually folded up. Just, they just folded it down instead to make it look like surfer hair. You know? And it's got the, like, the... Uh, it doesn't have the uh, boxing gloves anymore, which I guess is a huge aesthetic to it. But it has these, like, this design around his feet that look, kind of look like sandals. And I really like the, like, little way he's, he incorporated water into the design with, like, tribal tattoos in, in that way. Next up, we've got Lickitin, and it's dragon type. Oh, my goodness. It's got that, like, Oni tail, kind of like um, the uh, Blastoise, the variant, uh, or new evolution does, uh, Oni Turl. Um, and I, I, I it's so cute. It's just so darling, isn't it? It's like, I think it's this is actually a pre-evolution to uh, Lickitung. And so we'll see what it evolves into. Yes, Lickitung. Yep, they got actual Lickitung. And it is pure, still pure dragon. I would have pegged just poison dragon, but they, I think they, he already did poison dragon, right? Um, but yeah, I got spikes all over. Very spiky boy. Spiky cute boy. I just love its face. It's such a derp. I love it. Next up, we've got Coughing. Dude, some of these mons are just so cool. Like, the, instead of putting out poison gas, it puts out electricity. It looks like it's got, like, a little battery meter. That's actually a part of its ability, apparently. I'll read that in a second, but I think that's so cool. Like, changing... I saw, also, there was another one I saw that was an ice type. I believe it was by Maison. Fake Mon Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Maison did it. Um, and it was a ice type, ice poison type, where it was, like, little ice poofy clouds instead. I think that's so cool. Like, it's, it's replacing the little clouds of poison with different things, like... Fire cloud, you could easily do like little puffs of sm like actual smoke, fire po poison type, smog, could do that. I mean, we already got the, you know, fairy poison type from Galar, but I still think that's super cool. Coughing is a highly, highly adaptable design, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it has this ability called charging. Um, the Pokemon changes its form, alternating between full charge mode and low energy mode at the end of each turn. Um, so here is the shiny, but yeah, here's, here's low, um, low power mode, low energy mode. I usually try not to show off the shinies because I like that to be kind of an incentive for people to go to their page and check out the shinies. So definitely, I didn't, I don't, I didn't mention this, but definitely check out this page. I, I, I mentioned it at the beginning, but we're about halfway through, so make, definitely check this out. Uh, this page is really, really awesome. So we'll continue on to what I'm pretty sure is Weezing. Yes, Weezing. Look at that. Look at that. And it's like it's got the little battery on the side. It's got. Um, it's got. Uh, wait, it's got a new move too. It's got charging and contaminated electricity. It becomes electric type move when it is full charge mode, but in poison type when it is low energy mode. That's cool. 
But yeah, this dude, this dude looks like a coughing, like high on caffeine or or on like, you know, more illicit drugs. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, and it's almost got like a, uh, barbell look to it in a way. I like that. Okay, so let's see what the yeah this is this is what the uh, low charge mode is, and it looks like an actual wheezing like now like it has like the little uh, wheezing side thing here, and it's it, it I, that electricity looks like poison now. It's so interesting how like they managed to just like change one little aspect about it, and now it's like oh that's poison. Yeah, got it. Next up we got Rhyhorn, which is a bug ground type. So it is like based on literal rhinoceros, rhinoceros beetle. It is now a literal rhinoceros beetle. It's so cool. And it's like heavily armored, which is just, ugh, I like this aesthetic. I, the holes in it are giving me a little tryptophobia, a little bit. Same like with the slowpoke, a little bit, but not as bad because it's just the part of the design aesthetic. And it kind of looks like just like their ears or something. It's, it's all good, all good. Next up we've got Rhineros. Oh, this is sick. This is another one that reminds me of Digimon. Um, it reminds me of, oh uh, gosh, what's its name? Gabuterimon, or I think it's Metal Gabuterimon. Yeah, this reminds me of Metal Gabuterimon. That's the, kind, of, kind of what this reminds me of, and I love that. A, like, actual rhino beetle. Like, ugh, so cool. Next up is Chansey, and it is a steel psychic type. It's essentially just a Chansey bot. Uh, apparently the Chanseys went extinct, so they made this, like, kind of robot to, um, a, you know, fill that role which is a really cool like idea like a a, a man-made pokemon that that based off of an old i guess they have done that before haven't they well it's still a cool concept next up is tangoopa what tangoopa is a bug normal type kind of looks like tangela huh well i mean i wonder what it does oh yes it evolves into tangela and instead of vines it's a bunch of worms <laughs> This thing is so wild. Like this thing, this thing, this dude went so out of pocket with this design. <laughs> it's giving me that like very Halloween like plate full of worms, like ooh fear factor kind of thing to it, and I I just like that. I just think it's silly and fun. Next up is Kangabo, and it is the pre-evolution to uh, Kangaskhan. Um, it's the baby that it has in its pouch. It's giving it giving it its own official um, version, but also variant too because it's rock type. So we will see what it evolves into. We got Kanga Tank, which I'm pretty sure this is like um, the male equivalent to Kanga's Khan, but it's like really armored, heavily, like very Nido King aesthetic to it, which is, is super, super neat. And I'm pretty sure we also get, yep, Kanga's Khan, it's also rock. So it's kind of got like, they kind of adapted the Nido King, Nido Queen vibe into Kanga's Khan, which I think is super cool. Like I think that uh, Kanga, what was it? Kanga Tank was really, really neat. Next up, we got Horsey, which is looking pretty mean. Looking looking kind of like Cedra in this to me. Um, it's very big, but it looks it looks very mean. It's water psychic, and it's it's very serious, very serious in the face. So I'm interested to see what they do with Cedra here. Yeah, so it's it's just kind of even more mean now and more angular. Got more coral, kind of got that coral thing to it. Um, got very angular, and I, I I think that's cool. But it's a water psychic type, which is an interesting thing because I figured it'd be water rock type because of the coral, kind of like Corsola. But interesting that they like channel maybe their psychic power through the coral. I'm unsure. Next up, we got Goldine, which is like a um, what's what are those called? They're like the big eyed goldfish, the pop eye goldfish. I think that's what they're called, um, instead of the traditional goldfish, which I think is just so fun. It's just so derpy, like. I, I, like, it's, it's a good idea, like, oh, how about we make a freaking regional variant off of a, like, pop-eyed goldfish rather than a regular goldfish, and then we can maybe give it a new, like, that, like that's such a genius idea, like, and it, it's like one of those ideas where it's like, oh, I really wish I could use that, but I can't, because it's here, and it's amazing, so it's like, it's, it, I don't know, like, they, they did it really well, really well job, uh, done job with this, like, this whole idea, the concept of it. Next up, we got Celio. Okay, so instead of evolving into Sea King, it evolves into like a lionfish, um, water poison type, which that's so. Ugh. It's one of those concepts, man. You're like, I just wish I had thought of that first. It's just that's that's how awesome this con this like whole concept is. Like, and the execution is really well done too. So that's 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 really good, really good. Next up, we got Star You, flying psychic type, and it's it's very like cosmic. You know, I like that. Like, a lot of uh, cosmic Pokemon, you know, like Deoxys or Sogaleo, Lunala, Cosmo, Cosmog, um, you know, 
Necrozma also use that like psychic typing as a as a you know cosmic you know that's the kind of the filling for the cosmic type i mean we even have the uh psychic type gym leader of uh kalos who was um is her name olympia i can't remember but she's very cosmic like in in that so i like i like using psychic type as a cosmic a substitute for a cosmic type next up we got star we not star you not star me star we <laughs> That's I just think that's funny and I really like um, how they did like it looks like a shooting star now and it gave it kind of like an armor extra armor there I will say the jewel not being like in the center like I wish they had kind of filled out the Pentagon rather than like putting it off to the side It's just something about like it's just like Making me OCD about it. I don't know. It's weird next up. We got mr. Mime, which is a psychic normal type He's got these big poofy sleeves. He's very much a jester like a court gesture, court like like a joker from a like a playing card kind of look to it, which I appreciate. I like the normal type on it. I think I think honestly, Mr. Mime could have be psychic normal by himself. Honestly, I think I think that's one of those types that could really work for it. Next up, we got Scyther, and it is a bug dark type. Are you joking? With how dope this thing looks. Like, it's got the full-on, like, freaking Grim Reaper scythes. It's got this, like, Jon Snow freaking cloak, like, uh, what's the word? The Night's Watch cloak to it. Yo, this thing is wild. Wild. Just, just wild. That's all I can say. Like, that's so sick. So sick. Next up, we got Jinx, and it's Ghost Normal. Oh, God. Oh, 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 God. The Cat Lady Pokemon. Oh my god, he made Jinx a cat lady! Oh my gosh, that's that's like, that's spooky. It gives me the vibes of Palm from Hunter x Hunter. That's what that kind of, the vibes I'm getting from this. And also the, like, the, um, uh, ghost specialist, what's the name of that? Um, the creepy girl from Gen, uh, Gen 6, too. It gives me that kind of same feeling to it. Next up we got Electabuzz, and it's not really Electabuzz. More like Fractabuzz, you know, because Fractal, it's a ice type. It's an ice type, it's got that snow, like, white tiger. Like, I, I, it's like, I should say, I say snow tiger, but there's not really a such thing as a snow tiger. But it's got that, like, white tiger snow looking to it. And I think it's a really good adaptation onto um, Electabuzz. I think, like, so we've got Jinx, which is ghost normal. We've got Electabuzz, which is ice. So what is Magmar going to be? It is water flying. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot about this, dude. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous in the best possible way. Oh my god, they made it an actual he made it an actual duck. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Such a funny concept. I love that. Next up we got Pinsir, and it's a bug fighting type, which is kind of one of those things I feel like it should have been from the beginning. Another one of those things. It's very how do I say this? It's got lots of shell to it. It's very shell y. Is it keratin? Is that what their their shell, shells are made out of? That's what that's what it's giving me. Like very that much of that vibes. Um I'm I can't I don't exactly see the fighting type in it. Um it's it looks like it says it's like body is more sturdy than before and able to fight back more viciously. But I feel like it would have been steel. Like, it looks steel. Like, if, it, you know, if its body becomes hardened. That being said, it would make it weak to fighting. So, I don't know. Next up is Tauros. And it's a fire ground type. Got a full-ass pyramid coming out of that back. Literally, like, there's, like, dust and pyramid and fire everywhere. Just it's all just incorporated into that. Like, you can really just feel it from the design you know it's very in your face about that like oh yeah this is a fire type oh by the way ground type like <clears throat> not to say that's a bad thing not a bad thing at all i and i think it's interesting how it's like three tails are like horns now like they're not really tails they're like solid horns interesting next is magikarp and it's water ice type yo it's transparent that is sick like it's like a transparent the parent like see-through snowflake it's like it's like those like that those things of ice you see where it's got like the water trapped inside it like and you like or the ice cubes you know when you put the ice cubes in the fridge and they're not quite done so it's just like this layer of ice around the water kind of like that that's what that this this gives me and it's 
I really like the what they he did with the fin to make it look like a snowflake. Wow, that's cool. I wonder what Gyarados is like. It's ice poison. What? Dude, he's like a what? It's oh, it's Yormados, like Yormagonder. Uh Yormingonder. That's sick. Wow. Okay. Wow. I think that um you know, I, I think that Magikarp and Gyarados are one of those things that could really have have like really awesome potential for regional variants, and I feel like more people should tap into it. My friend Wesco Region um, did a regional Magikarp and um, new. Um, it's called Sakaos. Um, it, it, it's a, it's like a salmon because <laughs> salmon Gyarados. It's super cool. Check it out. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is this is sick. Next is Lockrass. Um, it is, like, Lap Lapras is supposed to be, like, um, rock plus lock, I think. Like, lock, like the Loch Ness Monster, plus rock. Um, and it's a rock dragon type. It's a pre-evolution to Lapras, which I think, in Gen 4, Lapras could have gotten a pre-evo. I think it should have. I think that would have been cool. Like, I know it's practically pointless, but I think it'd be cool to have, like, a cute little baby version of Lapras. It would be, be able to give you early access to Lapras, in early, in like some games um and like you could you know bond with that lapras that you're riding on you know that's just me but anyway it's a rock dragon type i think rock dragon is super cool and like the, the way they handled the shell um is really really a neat aesthetic next we've got lapras which is rock dragon yep it's it's like that neck bro that neck is huge it's massive massive neck um he's got he's got neck mad neck game <laughs> Um, anyway, I really, like, uh, Lapras, as you know, is one of my, like, favorite Pokemon, so, it's, I, he did this one justice, I'll say, he did, he did do this one justice. It doesn't seem like it can hold passengers anymore, which I think is cool, I always like, I like, that's exactly what I did with mine, mine, mine's a water rock type, my, uh, regional Corneran Lapras is a water rock type, so, I dig it. Next up, we got Ditto, and this is a radiation Ditto. And it looks like, yeah, it's unstable. It's like its DNA is going crazy. It's like trying to be Pikachu, Eevee, Magnemite, and Voltorb all at once. And then maybe Trappage? What is that supposed to be? That little claw down there. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, a group ditto got exposed to radiation and fused together. It's but it can't transform anymore and it cannot move anymore. <laughs> people need, people don't, what? People keep them in radiation storage. Some of the grammar on this is not 100% great. I'm trying to read it, so. Um, anyway, <clears throat> next up we got Eevee. Eevee. Whoa, Eevee. We already had the Pidgey line before, so what is Eevee gonna do? Well, Eevee is a ghost type now, and as you can see, all of its different evolutions are along its fur, its neck fur. And it's called, now, the No Evolution Pokemon. After a lot of Eevee have perished, because their trainer forced them to evolve to get stronger, they couldn't handle the power of the evolution. They still have the grudge over their previous trainer, and this Eevee cannot evolve. In battle, it's got a new ability called Withering. In battle, all Pokemon can in the field cannot increase their state or their status. I think. <clears throat> in party, no Pokemon can evolve. So it's an, a group Everstone if you have this in your party. Super cool, like super cool concept. Like an Eevee that's been scorned. It's kind of got that, like, you know, Hisuian Zora. Like, now, this was before Hisuian Zora. But it's a Pokemon that's been scorned by trainers, you know? And so, it, like, scorns them back. Like, even if you hold it, you can't quite, you know, make it as powerful as it could be. And you can't make any of your other Pokemon as powerful as they possibly could be. Which is super cool. Super dope. Super OP. Dummy OP. I'm just gonna keep saying words. Next up is... Porygon, it is grass normal, and it's like a little toy duck, the little ducks that go like, you know, the dipper ducks, whatever they're called, uh, and it's now, um, it's not a necessarily, like, um, it's a computer program anymore, it looks like, this is the original form of Porygon before it was a cute computer program, is what it looks like, which is super cute, it's still got that angular vibe to it, like that Porygon, it's like halfway between Porygon and Porygon 2, which I, 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 I dig this, it's like a little, little, you know, duck. I, not, not, not much more to say than that. Next up, we've got Nanite. It is Water Steel. Um, it's a shell Pokemon. This is an Ammonite des Descendant. 
and it has evolved from diff into a different species. Uh, you may find them in in different regions. This has happened to, after increasing the ammonite uh, population. Interesting. I would I don't see. Okay, so we don't have ammonite. I wonder, I'm a star. Wow. Argonon, like as in Ar like Argus, dude, or Argonaut. Excuse me, Argonaut, not Argus. Argonaut, bro. That is some wild, wild crap right there. Like I think it's like, it looks like it's part boat, part Argonaut, part Nautilus. Wild. It's got Mega Launcher as its ability, which makes sense. It's got like cannons in its freaking dome. Wow. That thing is just straight, straight wild, straight up wild. Next we have gotten Dubato, so we got so we don't have Kabuto, we don't have Kabutops, we don't have Ammonite or Amastar. We have these. We have Dubato, Bug Seal type, Battle Armor. It's the shell Pokemon, um, and it looks like Kabuto, but it's just like it's more like insect like, which is interesting to me. I wonder. So it looks like yeah, it looks like the fossils are steel now. Both of the fossils. Hmm. What does it evolve into? It evolves into Metapede. Bro, this is giving me some, like, Dark Souls vibes. Dude, what? <laughs> this is, like... And it was also kind of like Garchomp, in a way. Like, got the same kind of, like, shape to it. Wow. That's that's sick. Bug Steel type. Oh, wow. I just... I dig that. I dig that a lot. Next up, we've got Goldorus. The fighting flying type. So this must be the replacement for um, Aerodactyl. Interesting. It's fighting flying. Wow, it gives me like electric flying or like dark flying even. But fighting, that's that's wild. This thing is like so it's super vicious. This is believed. This is an Aerodactyl descendant because of its behaviors. So it looks like instead of getting fossils, you get like what the fossils evolved into over time like a direct descendant rather than like you know saying like oh you know this pokemon like venusaur came from this pokemon it, it's actually just the direct descendant that's cool next up we got snorlax and it's poison type oh did you got a tummy ache oh he's a sick pokemon after eating bad foods its behavior changed and adapted to it it uses its vomit to it <laughs> Use vomit. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. All right, yeah. Let me see you go a tummy ache, little tummy ache, tummy ache Snorlax. I love that. Next up, we got Articuno, and it is a water flying type now, which ugh, it's ah so so beautiful. Love like the little curly mist that they like the, the square like square curls. Like, the little square curls gives me that, like, and the curlies in general on the mist give me that um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, like, thing, you know, vibe. And that's just what this gives me, too. And and also, like, El Dorado, like, the the, the movie, the DreamWorks movie. That's, that's also what this gives me. And it's, just, yeah, it's water flying. It's, like, mist. The, yeah, it's the mist Pokemon. After the meltdown of Ice Mountain, Articuno got, Articuno got affected, and its body vibrates and becomes mist. Ugh. So cool. So cool. All right. What's Moltres? Let's see Moltres. Or no, actually, it's Zapdos. Duh. Articuno. Zapdos. Moltres. Duh. Uh, we got Zapdos, which is ghost flying. Uh, it's called the Dead Light Pokemon. After Pokemon used its... Uh, Zapdos used its light and power. It got lost and it started to use its soul. It used its own soul to make energy. Wow. I, you can use your power, but at the cost of your soul. It's very much like almost anime, but like like cartoon anime, like the hero who uh, you know Hercules who has to sacrifice himself, kind of that thing. Interesting, but uh, I think it's kind of like in a design or like an anime aesthetic too, where it's like the hero that can only use its most powerful weapon, but if it but it kind of you know, costs him a part of his soul or something. I'm sure there's something like that. That's that sounds familiar to me. Um, but yeah, it's. Really interesting design. It's not my favorite of the three. Very, like, ethereal, though. We got Moltres bringing back the square clouds. It's ground flying type. Um, we got the these, like, layered dirt. It reminds me of the freaking sandbird from Mario Sunshine. 
the legendary sandbird who can freaking that's such a pain in every speedrunner's butt i'm pretty certain um uh or a hundred or hundred percenters whatever anyway it's very like it still feels very moltres while getting those really cool dusty cloudy elements to it next up we got dratini and it's an electric dragon and it kind of has like an eel like tail at the end here like instead of the orb it's got like a little eel tail and it's these you know, fins coming out of its head rather than like the like the way they look before i like the diamond on its head too very cute you know pretty pretty standard you know electric dragon dratini next up we got dragonair which i really like how they improved on the elements here like to make it look more electric type like the giving it the like this like frill on its back to make it look spiky and then the gems making them like this like amber jasper kind of looking to them and i like how this kind of looks like a spear too kind of looks like a like a javelin and then the little electric in the ear too wow uh the improvements the, they, they improved this design for me with uh with the like like the elements they they chose to add finally we've got dragorai not dragonite dragorai so get out of here goofy dragonite this boy is a dragon. It's got like the armor uh, for the crystals instead, and it's very long. Still got, gave the arms, but it's got that like, you know, Asian kind of dragon aesthetic to it, rather than the, you know, goofy Western or not Western, but the uh, European dragon to it. I'm not sure. I, I there's like Eastern and Western dragons. I'm not sure which is which, so I just kind of say the area. But yeah, it's got that a Asian kind of dragon aesthetic to it, and I really like little lightning bolt tail just perfect little accent i love that so we have new legends for the these games we have infrared version um and this is infrax the fire and radiation type legendary pokemon of uh, pokemon forum edition it is very wild looking it is <laughs> it's it's just it's insane looking <laughs> like it, 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 it very led got that legendary aesthetic to it but like the lack of eyes just makes it so interesting like to me like not many pokemon lack eyes and so this 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 like has that kind of intimidation to it because of that next up we've got boron blue and this is a boron a it is the water and radiation type um as you can see they kept the um blue and red you know infrared boron blue um, I think there's green too, uh, but they actually have their own legendary Pokemon with them too, and this one is just gives me like Monster Hunter vibes. Like I, I feel like I could be fighting this with my freaking Switch Axe or Charge Blade. It, in, in like even Monster Hunter Try, like when you used to like swim to uh, fight, that's what this vi this kind of vibe gives me. Very primordial. Is, is the word I'd use for it. And finally, we've got Radon Green. It is a grass radiation type deer. Kind of got that Xerneas aesthetic to it, but I like I like what they did with the horns. It kind of looks like some kind of like, uh, what's the word? Crest or something like that. Um, very, very interesting. Like, it, it gives me like a mix of Xerneas and like Verizion. Kind of like that. That's what that feels like to me very interesting and i think that's it actually no wait no there's two more i think there's two more yeah there is muters so this is created this is like um a almost like a robot or like a like a creation this was created by mewtwo and it's saying it was created by mewtwo himself to replace him and to do to protect um the world from like it says from space mewtwo is now classified as human and removed from the decks so like there's actually you'll we'll, we'll, I'll show you what what, I, what what it means by that but yeah this dude talk about a mega mind holy crap there's like brains all over it <laughs> but uh it's psychic and radiation type I forgot to say that psychic and radiation type next we've got mu not M E W M E U it is M E U it's a dragon psychic type it's known as the first child Pokemon it is the first child from mu naturally it was sealed by mu a thousand years ago is what it says so this was the child of Mew. This was Mew's baby, and it became a dragon type. So cool. Like, like it was sealed away by Mew to, like... Like, it, it is, like, it abandoned its child. It's, so, like, it's dark. It's gritty. It's it's really cool. It's a really cool story and a really cool-looking mon, too. 
Okay, so this is the last thing I'll show of this. This is Professor Mewtwo. Um, he is officially, like, become human. Like, uh, like uh, 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 essentially. Like, he's he, he's disguised himself. Um, <clears throat> he created um, muters to, like, to, to reduce the power of radiation-type Pokemon. And to stop Mew. Um, M-E-U. Um, so, like, you know, Mewtwo was the villain from, like, kind of the movies. And now he's, like, the hero, which is kind of cool. But, um, yeah, I think that's, like, there's a couple of trainers and stuff like that. I don't think there's any more Pokemon. Yeah, there's trainers. You can see that, all that. Definitely check that out um, on Pokemon Form Edition's page. They're still posting, I believe, some trainers and, like, gym leaders and stuff like that. So definitely check them out. But that's it for the decks. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with everything going on in the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.